street may be named North Candlestick Drive, but we are clearly not in San Francisco. We're out in the middle of nowhere, we're five miles from the city of Casa Grande, uh, 45 minutes from Phoenix, an hour from Tucson. A high-rise hotel reminiscent of 1960s Las Vegas, built smack dab in the middle of the desert. It's not something that you would see uh, in a lot of places in Arizona. It could easily be named Sahara or the Sands. But while the Rat Pack was playing there, Willie Mays and his Giants were playing here. This is the Francisco Grande Hotel and Golf Resort. It was built in 1961 by the owner of the San Francisco Giants. They built the facility for uh, preseason uh, baseball. They were the first uh, team uh, to use Arizona for preseason. The Giants first moved their spring training complex from Florida to Phoenix in 1958. But owner Horace Stoneham had a grander vision. The rumor has it that I-10 and I-8 were supposed to intersect here. And that's where he would build a spring training luxury getaway, rivaling any major league team. And the architecture would be their marker. The top of the building actually looks like a baseball hat turned upside down. A parking lot formed like a catcher's mitt, and a pool shaped like a baseball bat. The jacuzzi is a baseball, so I guess we were a little more gimmicky uh, in the beginning uh, than Vegas was in the, in the 60s. They even built a small stadium to seat 3,000 fans. That's the observation deck that was surrounded by four uh, baseball fields. The Francisco Grande was the desert playground of future Hall of Famers. Willie Mays, Willie McCovey, Juan Marichal. The players trained together, ate, and even roomed together. Except, of course, Mays and McCovey. They had their own rooms in the high rise. The hotel also had a touch of Hollywood. We're going into 804, which is the John Wayne suite. At the time, he had the largest cattle ranch in North America, just 11 miles from the hotel. John Wayne's uh, cattle ranch was out to the, to the west here. You can actually see way out there by the, that little white horizon, that's where his ranch was. Clint Eastwood may be known for a fistful of dollars, but check out this photo hanging in Duke's bar downstairs. John Wayne brought plenty of cash when he came to Arizona, spending it on cattle, and rumor has it, drinks for everyone at the bar. That's how the story goes. You know, the story is, it gets stronger and, and louder in different times of the year, and it's fun to have uh, a little bit of an urban legend around here. The legends and the hotel live on, even though there was a changeup in the freeway plans. We moved a little to the south and a little to the, the east of us. In 1979, the Giants moved their Cactus League headquarters to Scottsdale. By the end of 1982, there was no more baseball. The Francisco Grande was remodeled and became a golf resort. But the hotel's walls are a shrine to the big names that have stayed here and part of every guest's experience. It's the charm of the facility. It's got history, it's got culture, it's got a heartbeat.